Hey, how's it going? I'm Rama from Rama Time, and welcome along to this, a brand new video from me, and the start of a new series. This is Satisfactory. Now, if you do not know this game, basically it's one of your automation creator factory out of various materials you collect from the world, convert those materials into other things, then convert those other things into other things, and connect the lot all together with belts <laughs> and that sort of thing. So it's it's if you like this sort of thing, this is a really good example of this type of game. Game's currently in early access. This playthrough will be on update three. And what you're looking at right at the moment is basically my first ever base that I made with this game. Um, and as you can see, it's not finished. Yeah, I started building quite a lot. I was trying to do it so that it's all as neat as possible and nice. And for the most part, I think I got away with it. There are a few areas that could possibly be tweaked in terms of stylization, but overall, I'm really happy with it. I've also I've tried to make it so you can get to most places walking and that there are these walkways and so on. While we are going to start again from scratch, I just wanted to show you this is the one that I've been working on. So if we come up here, this is kind of like my main storage area. And this is where everything I'm creating in this world is being collected. And I've, I've got to be honest, I totally ripped this design off. Um, this is from I'm Kibitz. I don't know where, whether he ripped it off or not, but this is I certainly I took it from him because this is a great layout. This is a great design. I absolutely love it. Really easy to get to everything. Everything's all nicely displayed. We've got this beautiful uh, scene in the background. I probably haven't even got enough though. I probably need to add more bins. Um, but as you can see, I'm collecting up everything that I'm creating in the game. Now obviously if you're not familiar with this game at all, a lot of this will be a kind of what? But I wanted to start with something that was quite cool and I'd put a lot of effort into already before we start again from fresh because I've learned a lot during this. If you like spaghetti then you'll love how my storage area gets loaded up because it's like that and yeah, I never bother putting too much effort into that because the idea was that it would never be visible. But. Uh, so just for a super super quick tour, this is the main base where everything is kind of coming back to. These buildings over here are kind of various different factories. So this one is making screws. So as you can see, it's making screws, it's fully loaded and the screws are going off somewhere. They're not currently being used. This one here is making the iron plates and basically it's taking in, sorry, reinforced iron plates I believe, and it's taking in iron plates and screws to make those plates and then if we pop downstairs there we go we can come and look into this factory here which is smelting uh, oh no that's making the plates so that means the smelting is being done over here see I built this quite some time ago so I kind of can't remember everything uh, but yes there we go these are my smelters very smoky room this one and these guys are making all these iron uh, iron ingots which are basically coming from iron ore, which is being collected from various different places around the map and coming back here and going in to the side of my base. If we look out over there, you can see another building. This is actually a fully finished building. It's my concrete factory, and the concrete actually comes on a belt all the way from over here. So I'm just gonna fly over there. So a quick note, I don't actually particularly like using mods, however there are a couple that I do use just to make my life that little bit easier. And one is this exosuit, so it gives me the ability to fly and move fast. This is a great mod, I really don't like this game without it. The other is I use a mod called Permaday which basically makes it so it's always daytime. Nighttime looks amazing but it's terrible for working with. Um, and that's pretty much about it. So another couple of areas over here. This one here is another concrete building. I'm not sure why I put so much effort into all my concrete buildings, but that is basically up there purely making concrete, which comes down into this little storage area here. Some of it goes off into a resource sink, and other it's just for storage. There's another building just over there that I've made. See, I've made all these kind of buildings all over the place. And sometimes I forget what is actually where, but the train there's a train going to all of these. So this one is just making quick wire. That's a sitting on a criterium node up there. And it's just making quick wire and putting it into this uh, train station. And again, it's another building. I put a bit of effort into making it look pretty. And it starts with a miner in there pulling criterium, 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 I can't remember, out of the ground. And it comes up here onto these smelters. 
that I put all on these frames. I'm not completely sure why. But then that goes out of the side of the building. And it goes up the side of the base and each one comes into its own machine here where it basically gets turned into quick wire and all the quick wire goes downstairs oh there's a window missing there look all the quick wire goes downstairs and into that train station so another building i have here is the this is this entire building is just making reinforced frames And then this was my starter base. So this was where it all started, where I got everything I needed just to unlock everything. And obviously it's an absolute mess with one nice building that I built, which is purely for making copper wire. Uh, yeah. I won't delete it though, because it did the job. It got me where I am now. Then down there you have my original rubber plant, which is making all the rubber and the plastic. With a little bit of power generation as well. And just at the back of my main base, I have this little tube here, which takes us off to a very special area that I have just started building. And this is another area I've just started working on, which is basically a oil refinery, bringing in all of the oil nodes from the local area, uh, turning them into plastic and rubber and turbo fuel. And then I have my little turbo fuel generator system over there which is due to be expanded. So I need to actually double that again to use the amount of turbo fuel I'm generating just from these few. Oh, hello train. Just from these few. So this is all in progress. This will be one big factory uh, and so on. But anyway, that was just a quick overview just to show you kind of what I've been working on uh, and what we can possibly expect. But I've learned so much, hopefully the new one will be much, much better. And here we are, I have started a brand new game and this is in the Northern Forest. I've gone ahead and pressed the button to skip the onboarding as I'm already very familiar with the game. And this is looking a little bit cheeky. I'm liking it, yeah, okay. Now, oh, this is gonna be tricky for me because I don't have my fast run, I don't have my jetpack so I can't fly around. I've gotta kinda of start again, but firstly, oh look, there's the big moth. Uh, how pretty does this look like this is really cool as a starting point so never started here before wow look water leaves uh i'm gonna want a bunch of these so i'm just gonna start picking up some leaves we'll grab a load of them and i noticed there's some mushrooms over there oh i can't fly anymore i'm so not used to this right we'll grab some of that we'll grab some bits and pieces because we're definitely going to want these because we've got to go through that whole biofuel thing oh a geyser geyser what right, geyser? I think you can actually put. Whoa. I think you can put uh, something that generates power on those actually, but I never did that in my other playthrough, so. Hmm. We haven't got a map, so I can't press Z either, so I, I'm not even sure where we are. <laughs> okay. This is going to be fun. Starting completely from new. So we've got all these kind of road areas. Um. I'm going to need to build my hub somewhere, and I'm not sure where. There is a big cave here. Would I want to go in this cave? I've got nothing to defend myself. Let's go and have a look. I bet you there's something. Oh, my God. Ah! <laughs> go away, go away, go away. Ah! Did you see that? There's a spider. Oh, Jesus. He is proper naughty. Right. Let's leave him to it. We're going to stay up here. 
Um, I've got to try and find. Oh, whoa! Hello there. I forget about these guys. Oh, is he eating from the tree? That's nice. Right. Um, I've got to find a, an an iron patch or something just to kind of get started. And I'm sure there's some around here somewhere. I mean, I can't. I can't oh, I can. I can find it. Ah. So iron. Oh. This way, this way, this way, this way. Oh, mind. Mind you, that that's actually quite far away. Well, okay. We've got a bit of a run. You can sit back down again, you. I'm just pressing E a lot while I'm running as well to collect leaves. Because these I'm going to be turning into fuel uh, to run my power generators when I start making them. Um, I need to do another scan because I've lost track of where I was going. This way. Doopy 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 doo. Hmm. Okay. Ah, ah, ah. This looks good. I don't want to go just jumping off though because I... I won't survive the fall, I don't think. But we can jump down here. There we go. Ah, okay, okay. No, so this looks like a pretty good starting area. Look, it's opened up. There's a bit of water there. Whereabouts was my iron? This way. Aha. See, I, I may not even stay here, but this is quite a, a nice place to start, I think. Because there's not too much big, flat, open space. Oh, there's a monster already. Ah, uh, what have I got? We've got to build a hub. Mm, let's come over here. Right, so we've, we've got a potentially angry boy over there. Who I'm not overly happy about. I'm going to plop it down. Just... There. Ho 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 ho! That's good. And it's going to give me a bunch of information about it. But I'm already aware of that, so that's no worries. Ah, oh, the tears. Hello. Oh, here he comes, look. Oh, we might have to... Oh, I've put, he's going to have to come through a tree every time. That's a bit silly. You're going to start a fire, mate. Right. That's pretty groovy, isn't it? Oh, I wonder if that will be my nice thumb now. That looks pretty cool. Right, okay, so... We've got these little power generators over here, so we can do stuff with them if we put in uh, biofuel. But have I even unlocked biofuel? Can I make... I can look. So, I can make a bunch of this stuff out of what I've already got. I've already got four miners. I didn't even know that. Oh, I have got a, oh, I have got a weapon. I'm not sure how well I would fare against uh, one of those spiders yet, but I have got a weapon. So, I'm just going to create a bunch of biofuel. Yeah, see, I didn't even think to look in here. I've got a lot more gear than I realised. Um, I just tried to attach that to my body. Oh, right. <laughs> what are you saying? Anyway, um, so what we can do is come over here. Uh, can I make? I can't. I can't make a. No, I could make a big storage container. Okay, I'll make a big storage container here. It's not completely ideal, but it'll do for the time being. Um, and we'll just pop it next to it here. And in here I'm just going to chuck all of my biomass, except for two of them, which I'm going to plop into here. And here. So these are ready. They shouldn't be doing anything though, because they're not connected. No? Right, good. Okay, so we've got the start going. Um, we need to get mining. Where's, how am I going to do this then? So. Uh, iron ore. This guy up here. Right, let's go and get some of this. Hello. <laughs> Shut up. Into here, we'll plop one of these into my hands. 
And I'm going to put it onto his head. No. Nope. <laughs> the animation on these things is absolutely amazing. Like I do uh, 3D animation, CGI, and all of that sort of thing. And this is just such big kudos to the, the, the modeler and the animator involved in this. Because, oh, it's just amazing. And I particularly love the way that these act like little eyes. And as they go down, they kind of squint. <laughs> Right, uh, so we're going to chuck a bunch of these down. All of my miners are now churning away, so they're collecting up uh, stuff for me. So I can actually go and start looking at what I'm going to actually do here. Let's go and have a look at the tiers, because we've got to figure out what we're going to actually do to... We've got to figure out what we want to do to progress. So build base building, is, to me this is massively important, because I want to... I need my foundations early on. Uh, that was a mistake I made in the other one, but I didn't know much about foundations at the time, whereas now I do, and they are massively important. Then obviously conveyor splitters uh, and stuff, um, and oh, that's I don't remember seeing that before. Productivity display, okay, uh, and uh, a hand slot is really useful, and a mam very useful. Personal storage box, yep, inventory slot. So all of this is super important. But let's just start with this guy here. Um, so we need to collect a bunch of this and these okay so what can we make what can we make off the bat we can make a constructor all right so let's plop down a constructor and this is going to be my go-to guy for creating whatever i need um and i need concrete slight change of plan right i am going to make me a storage container which is going to be there this i'm going to plop in all of that okay so that's my iron ore going into that storage container now that's going to come out of there and into a smelter okay and we'll just connect them together like that so we should start seeing them go across very nice and slowly and we can come into this smelter and tell it that I want it to be making iron ingot and I'm going to connect that to that power there and that will be underway let's just get rid of all of these leaves because they're right in the way Yep, 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 can't pick up that one yet. Okay, dokey. Alright. Now, out of that smelter, I want that to go into a constructor. So we'll just plop this like that. I am not putting any effort into this because this is a temporary setup. Because that's now going to move my ingots. There we go. Sorry for all the bouncing around. What did I do? Did I just do another... Sm I did another smelter. I'm sorry that you had to witness that level of stupidity. I thought I did a constructor, and you were probably going, uh, what are you doing? And I didn't. Never mind. Right, okay. There we go. Let's try that again. Power line back to. Uh, let's put one there. I made a slight boo boo. I need to connect to that, and then connect to that. There we go. You can only connect one power line to these. So you have to come out into another power pole where you can connect to, in this case, up to four. Alright, so that's that bit going. So my constructor, I need to tell that, but I want iron rods, because that was the other thing that it was telling me I need, I believe. Right? Uh, iron rods. I need 100 of them, so that's fine. And I need 200 uh, of the limestone. So, limestone, limestone. Let's see where limestone is around here. Okay, so there's some just over there. Ah, just over there. Boom, boom. So he's going to do his thing. We will grab this for when we... Oh. Okay, there's a mushroom inside the wall that I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed it. Naughty. Okay, right. Um, that's doing its thing. We'll leave that to it just for a minute while we run over here. I think I might grab another one of these miners that I put over here. Grab you and grab the miner. And we'll plop that in there. You come here, gravel. Not a huge amount, but some. And we'll come back in a minute for the rest. Right. I think I need to do the same thing again, but over here, actually. So I'm going to create a... Um, do I... No. I just need a constructor. Okay. A constructor, a logist, uh, organization, a container. You don't have to do this whole thing of putting containers everywhere. Uh, you can just chuck the stuff straight into the machinery, but I do find it's kind of... Who's there? Uh, it's a little bit neater to just come in here and chuck it in there because then you can throw more than a hundred in. Otherwise, you can only put a hundred in at a time. Right, so that's doing its thing. Uh, I'm going to create power 
which I'm going to bring over here. Da, 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 da. Again, this is massively ugly and just temporary. And I'm going to put these on the secondary power because this is probably already using uh, nearly half of what it's due. But you see, it's, it's, it's eating the power uh, quite nicely. Eating the fuel quite nicely, not eating the power. I'm not talking about. Quick tip, you can hold space here. You don't have to click your mouse button. So just select the one you want, hold down space, and it will just do it. So we'll t convert all of these into stuff. And then we'll come back and we will chuck this into this bin here. No, not that one. Holding control puts everything you're holding of that type down when you click on it. Uh, right, so that's doing its thing. I want that to make 100 before I really worry about it. Uh, over here, um, uh, why am I getting a, why have I got a red light on? We need to confirm this. Oh, I didn't select what to make. Concrete. Thank you. Okay, so that's doing that. Pressing F and clicking your middle mouse button will allow you to sort of pick that item and build a second one. So in case you're wondering how I'm doing that nice and quickly, that's how I'm doing it. Right, there we go. And they're going up that wonderful steep curve to go into there. Beautiful. So we just need to let that sit and run until it makes 200. We can come over here to these, grab what's in them plop them into there. Unfortunately there is no way to automate out of those little guys so we have to do this all manually for the time being. But it's fine. We get by. Grab a bit more of this. You can never have enough of this in the early game. Because the last thing you want is when you're trying to get some power quickly running around like grabbing as many flowers and petals and bits of wood as you possibly can. I'm going to get this all as as much of this kind of fairly early on and quickly run it in here and convert it into something a bit more usable and I like to try and be tidy and keep it all together you know, where I where I'm going to need it uh, this is still going that's backing up so I can't put that in there it's a bit annoying but I can probably put them in there and then they'll just run out of the okay so we've nearly got our hundred of them which is good 97 we've got um, the other ones will definitely take a little bit longer and let's just have a quick look what was else so these metal plates now obviously I'm using a bunch of those <laughs> crafting all this gear so I need to make now something that's also going to be making me some metal plates um, I think maybe now that I've got enough of the rods uh, I can just change this one so it makes plates I think that will probably be the best bet for now so we'll select this there we go just do this and we'll put those in there like that and just for the, the sake of not wasting we'll plop those into there okay groovy let's go and see how our limestone is concrete creation is doing 43 so 99 so we're a little way a little way but we can come over here we've got to go and Grab that over there. They will only ever would, they'll only ever take out a hundred. So we then we'll take that and we can go put that into there. So it's still going. That will be enough now, at least I think, to uh, make our uh, make our concrete. And we'll grab all of those. And we'll grab all of those. Grab all, grab all. And plop those in there. There we go. If I had a splitter, I would probably consider making a second one of these. Uh, so that I could get the plates underway already, but mm, nah. <laughs> Let's see how are we doing for power. So we're only using eight out of the twelve, and we're only using four out of the twenty. So we've we've got a bit of we've got a bit of room on our power still, uh, and that's only down to one seventy eight, one ninety four. So yeah, we're absolutely fine for power for some time. But I don't know. Should I make another one of these? Double this up a bit. Mm. Or should we start with a copper? Okay. Oh, so we. Oh, look at that! It's only over here. Oh, this is nice. Everything is right on top of us. This is good. I can hear growling. Oh dear. Quick, quick. Ow. Where'd you go? Ah. Why are you 
order. Come out. <laughs> Less of it. Right, back to what we were doing. Okay, so I've just set up this very basic uh, copper into um, copper wire. And we'll just grab those, we'll grab those, and we'll plop this all into my bin here. And then that will do its job of sending that into there. That will then turn it into an ingot. That will then turn it into copper wire. So that's on the way. Um, and we're just within our power, I think, still. Oh yeah, look, we're, we're doing absolutely fine. Oh no, that's just that one. Hang on. We need to check this one. Because they're not linked. They could be linked. They should just be linked. There we go. I've got really confused now. I don't know what I've just done. But I'm not, I'm not seeing it right. So, <laughs> hang on a minute. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, whatever. It's working. It's doing the job. That's full. I need to get those out of there. Um, I'm going to need more of these as well, actually. Ah, see, this is going to be a problem. Right, let's just do a quick run around, collect everything, and load up the bins again. Base building. Let's unlock it. Let's give it what it needs. So it needs 200 of those. It needs 100 of those. And it needs 100 of those. And boosh! Milestone reached. You have unlocked several structures aimed to provide the first needed to build basic factory infrastructure and improved overview. Building these will provide a grid for more advanced organizing and sectioning of your factory. Excellent. So now I will be able to uh, build a frame here so that I can start building my stuff kind of a little bit more neatly. Um, but I think for the time being, we'll just keep this going like it is. Um, do another quick run round and make sure that everything is topped up. Okay, fantastic. Next milestone. Let's have a look. Um, so, logistics. We basically need more of the same. And it's back. Yeah. Right, so what we can do, uh, we can probably now expand this a bit. So I'm going to grab one of these. I'm going to bring this over this way because I'm doing this where I'm running backwards and forwards a lot. So if I can just reduce a little bit of that, so I can make it so I can just grab this, grab this, grab this, fix it, freighter reentry complete. It into there, I'll make my life that a little bit easier. Um, and I'm going to create a smelter here and another constructor. And I think I should be all right in terms of the uh, power of what I'm doing here. So we'll grab that one. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. So we'll grab that, put that on its own one. Bring this back and plop it into there. Let's see. This. Yep, well, we're using half our power, so it's fine. Um, and I want this one creating iron rods, I think. Uh, yeah. Iron rods. And this one, I need you to be smelting iron ingots. Okay, so that's now doing its thing. Can we get rid of that? I don't think. Yeah, we can't get rid of that. It's a bit annoying. We need the chainsaw. We're a little way off unlocking the chainsaw at the moment, which is a shame. But it's fine. We'll get there. There's no major hurry. Right, they're doing their thing, so that's fine. Um, See, until I unlock these splitters, it's kind of a bit tricky because I can't have these coming out to a... Well, unless I have one bin per thing, which I don't really want. That would be too much going on at once. Um, but that's doing its thing. That's cool. So how many? I've got 45 of those. Uh, I'm working my way to 150 of those. And we need 300 of these. So this will take a little while. We've got 185. Actually, no, it really won't actually take very long at all. We're nearly there. Right, okay, so logistics. Let's go ahead and unlock this one. So, we need that, we need that, and we need that, and boosh! 
Milestone reached. Conveyor belts can now merge, split, and lift to increase the complexity and efficiency of your factory. So, we now we encourage you to consider have more verticality when it comes conveyor belt, to factory lifts, logistics to streamline mergers and splitters. Oh, we have a lookout tower. We have all our foundations, which is and good. The productivity and we have some individual buildings Excellent. to aid with optimization. We are doing superbly. So, let's get field research. Let's get this one done. So, what we need is a bunch more of those. We need some screws and we need some plates. I think, to be honest, the screws I might even make manually. Let's just have a quick look. So we've got this going on. So to make the screws, yes, yeah, rods converting into into screws. So that's fine. Um, so we could just sit in here. Yeah. Okay, so now let's go and give it this one. So we got our screws, we got our plates, and we got our wire, and we're gonna hit go. Milestone reached. The molecular analysis machine, referred to as the MAM, will allow R and D. So we have just unlocked the MAM. So let's just quickly hop up here, up in our brand new lookout tower that we just built. So this is our start. This is our little starting base, and it is just a little tiddler for now. But uh, I think I don't think we will stay here. I think we will go and find a slightly better place. Um, I think I know where I'm going to go and build the main base. And But yeah, this is definitely, it's a good start. So we've now got, we can make the storage boxes. We can build the MAM, which is uh, the analysis stuff. We're going to be onto tier two next. Uh, we can now make a miner. Actually, could we already make a miner? Did I not notice that? I don't know if I noticed that or not, but we've, if we can make a miner, then I can automate all of this. So that's grand. Um, so we're, we're really moving ahead. So this is brilliant. Great start. And I think that will be it for today's video. And we will continue in the next one and see how we get on. Grand. Thank you very much for joining me. If you did enjoy it, hit that like button. It really helps me. All right. And all of that. Yeah, grand. Oh, and subscribe. Cheers. Bye.